And now ladies and gentlemen, I give you the world renowned genius, George Gordon. I have come to tell you stories or rather a story about the telling of stories and what it has taught me about you and about myself and about teaching. I want to talk about some of the ways the world has changed and the lesson of these changing times. But first, let me explain. I believe this is a different pedagogical model from universities and many other countries and it sends you into the world with deeper understanding of physics than, for example, many of your European peers. Now, I can only write so many problems in which a particle of mass m moving with initial velocity v0 in a viscous medium with drag coefficient g does something of educational value before dying of boredom. We discussed aerospace engineering through analysis of electromagnetic chicken launchers acoustics concerning the hazards of Brussels sprout ice cream geographical information systems since it's so easy to make New Jersey the butt of my jokes. What a jerk-off. Most useful of all the physics 225 was the versatile Bratwurst, a fine product of the award-winning UIUC Meat Sciences Department. Improperly cooked brats can explode, rocketing off the grill at relativistic speeds. Strings of brats can be manufactured to contain precisely synchronized clocks. I realized that it was alarming, at first, to be taking physics from a crackpot, 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 but you were good sports about it, and it added a certain amount of levity to the first tough physics course in your curriculum. Some of the problems were recycled from courses I taught previously. Here's an example, the Coneheads were characters from Saturday Night Live featured in a movie a few years ago. Aliens from the planet Remulac. They gave fried eggs to trick-or-treaters and drank beer by the six-pack, all six cans opened simultaneously. I wrote a Lorentz contraction problem in which a fleet of conehead spaceships flew through an interstellar vodka cloud. You had this problem, as homework, I think, but I used it the first time in a different course, Physics 210, around 1990, you need to have a chance to see what it's like to end up doing physics for a living. My daughter. Chlamydia is in the third grade. When I was in the third grade, a naval blockade of Cuba, meant to keep Soviet ICBMs out of the Western Hemisphere, nearly led to a nuclear war. The world was terribly dangerous and full of bloody Gordian knots without solution. Oh shut the fuck up. You pathetic, rambling lunatic. Good God man, what a mental case. Who let this dirtbag in the building in the first place? Get off my stage. You vile, smelly, tick-infested crackpot. 